The American Heart Association updated its blood pressure guidelines for the first time in, what, eight years? Yeah, so the changes emphasize prevention and early treatment. Mandy Gaither explains there are lifestyle changes that can help. In the U.S., nearly half of all adults have higher than normal blood pressure, but many may not know it. 130 over 80 millimeters of mercury and higher is considered stage one hypertension, according to new guidelines from the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology. You gotta start thinking about people actually having hypertension, calling it hypertension, even at lower numbers, and we have to treat it more aggressively. High blood pressure doesn't typically have symptoms, but when it shoots up, the force of your blood pushes against the walls of your blood vessels, making your heart work harder. Without treatment, high blood pressure will eventually damage arteries, raising risk of heart attack or stroke. The new guidelines say if your systolic blood pressure is in the 130 to 139 range, lifestyle changes are in order. Diet and exercise and really cutting back salt and a big one that they're saying, no alcohol. If that doesn't work, experts say to then consider medication to help lower blood pressure. The new guidelines say keeping blood pressure at normal levels can not only help heart health, but also help protect your brain in the future. There was a study out of rural China, actually, and it looked at people who had blood pressure of 130 or higher and they were basically intensively controlled, meaning through lifestyle changes or sometimes through medications, they were able to bring their blood pressure down. And they found that when they did that, they also lowered their risk of dementia. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. As for consuming alcohol, the previous guidelines recommended no more than one drink a day for women and no more than two for men. But as you just heard, studies now show alcohol may negatively affect your blood pressure, which is why also the American Heart Association recommends that you stop drinking alcohol completely if you have high blood pressure.